Hello everybody, it's Kelly over at Fairy Kiwi's Hobbies, and we are here today for Hashtag Deck the Year. This is an open collab that is hosted by Penny over at Penny's Crafty Creations. I highly recommend that you go over to her channel. She has amazing videos, all kinds of fun stuff. So, the premise of this collab, and she's been doing it for a few years, is to take a card. Standard deck of cards is what it started out with because there's 52 cards in a deck, 52 weeks in a year. And you just alter and create something at least one day a week. Kind of to challenge yourself to do at least some some sort of creations. And this is what I'm... Um, I like to show you guys where um, my thought process has been throughout um, this. These are stickers that were in my advent calendar. Um, some of the cards I'm really pleased with. Some of the cards not so much, but... You know, they're still cute. Um, I'm s still using different types of techniques, different types of mediums, and getting used to them. Some of the stuff I, you know, is a little bit more out of my comfort zone. This one I love so much. So much. Live in Arizona. We have tons of p uh, pigeons around here. But I just love that one. It just cracks me up. And this one cracks me up, too. Alrighty, so where we are at this week, I'm sorry if that was loud, I just now realized that it could have been right in front of the microphone. We are now at week 29. So you get some of these stickers in a sticker pack, and you get standard ones that look like this. Cute little fox, he's adorable kind of thing. And then you get ones like this where you're like, what am I going to do with that? This is a perfect opportunity to take these funky stickers that you don't know what to do with and create something with it. That's also with this one. This one's called Eeling Great, and it's an eel with sunglasses. And this is what I created with this one. So it's kind of like he's, I found this, um, it look, it could be underwater grass. It could be any kind of grass, but it was in my narrative poetry, um, sticker pack. I have these little fishies from the Stampin' Up! well done stamp set and um I just thought that that would look really cute so I took the like the this I think it's just regular uh blue card stock uh sometimes I've been using like this paper right here and this paper right here are from paper packs that you could pick up at the Dollar Tree this one's from Daiso but I think this one right here is just a regular piece of light blue card stock that I happen to have in the exact size um and I just kind of like, um, I don't know what I, oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. So see how it has the different, the different colors right here. This might've been a scrap from another one when the backside of the paper has, uh, was like a, like an ocean theme. So these were like the waves and then they got darker. So it started off water, got darker and it's stamping up paper. If I'm, if I remember correctly, it just looks a lot like regular blue cardstock, but there's no way I could have distressed it that beautifully. So it's got to be plus right there. That's it's just got to be <laughs> somebody else's paper. But anyway, and then I took silver Wink Costello, which as you know, it's so hard to see Wink Costello on camera. And I splashed it around kind of making it look like, you know, like you're our underwater. And then I picked the two colored flatback jimmies to match the eel on the sticker. So that's what I did for this one. Um, this one has balls on the back of it, but it's, you know, week 29, hashtag deck the year, and then my initial. And yeah, that's what that's what happened for this week. It's, this has been a really fun collab. Um, I'm, I think I'll be, I'll be happy yet sad at the same time when the year is over. Um, I'll be happy because of, I can see, I've, I've, I can already see the, just by, you know, showing what I have done so far the progress and, and how my thought has been processing as I'm creating some of these. Um, so that's kind of like, that's why I'm glad so that I can like see them all together and how it happened. Um, I'll be sad because, um, now you, you kind of like have to create something new. So if Penny does this collab next year, I'll have to find, a figure, figure out if I'm going to do stickers again next year or, or what. So it's kind of like, it's, it's a uh, happy, but sad at the same time. 
I just don't know. I'm sure you guys know where I'm coming from. But anyway, um, if you guys are interested in joining in this club, um, there are a ton of people in this club already, over 40 people. Penny has a list over on her channel underneath her Deck the Year video. Last year she had, last year, seriously, last time she had them, or one time she had them um, listed um, on her either tablet or laptop and they would scroll up of all the people that were participating. Sometimes she reads them while she's creating um, the card that she's working on for that week. And it's just fun to see how many people are in it. And then when you go check out their channel, you can see all the different ways that they've created um, their cards for Deck the Year. And it's just fun to see all the creative outlet that's happening. And it's just really neat clap. So thank you, Penny, for helping us kind of like step out of the box a little bit and have a little bit of fun. Um, if you do, just make sure you tag... Um, Petty in your description and use hashtag deck of the year. And again, make sure you go check out the hashtag. Alrighty. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.